alam mo, sobrang hot topic tong episode natin, di ba? I feel like, itong community na pag-uusapan natin, nako maraming men's, maraming empowerments itong community natin. So, very, very exciting. And, might I add talaga, since Pride Month, last month, this is very timely. How do you feel about today's topic? Ano lang, i-express and help we're all learn from you guys and the guests. Excited ako kasi hindi ako ganun familiar sa topic natin ngayon pero sobrang I'm ready na ako to learn. I'm ready to process. Kaya hey, mas iya, I'm ready to process today's new learning. <laughs> kasi marami tayong matututunan. Well, aside from like you guys, our guests, guests. Kasi hindi lang sila. Hindi lang siya isa, pero dalawang guests. So, super excited ako. One, two. And syempre, ako din talaga very excited to partake in this discussion. Kasi alam mo, marami talaga akong gustong malaman about this community. And speaking of guests, sinabi nga ni Pongay, we are going to be talking about pride with our beloved guest, ang hashtag patunay, one TVH return. For today, Guys, for today, we are joined with not only one, but two guests. So, let's all welcome ang tunay na tunay sa pagpapakita ng kanyang kulay, Carmela Tunay. And, syempre, hindi naman mabubuo ang hashtag patunay <laughs> without the, oh my gosh, legendary Philippine team setter, Kim Fajardo. Hello, ano kulay ba yung pinapakita ko? <laughs> Hi, Ate Kim, Ate Mela. Welcome to TVH. Welcome. Hello, girls. I think a perfect starter for this discussion, kasi nga, di ba, alam niyo naman, girls, very deep and very meaningful ang topic natin for today. So, dun tayo sa parang quoting niya, kumbaga kailangan natin bakasin talaga yung mga myths and mga misconceptions about the LGBTQI community. So, I want to ask, I know kasi there's a difference between the concept of sex and gender. So, how can you, what can you say about that? Kim? <laughs> Kaya mo na yan. <laughs> ne, um, siguro for us, ano naman, yung difference is, yung sex, I think that's how you're born, like biologically and anatomically speaking. Yan na yan eh. So, uh, mas madaling concept siya. Pero yung gender, medyo mas malawak. It comes with how you identify yourself. Ganun, medyo mas complex ang yung topic on gender. Kaya nga, di ba, like sa LGBT, LGBT dati, four letters na. Ngayon, may QIA. Tapos nilagyan na lang plus. Kasi sobrang, as we go along, talagang mas marami pa tayo nag-discover sa sarili natin and how we want to express. Nung narinig ko yung topic na to, sinerge ko kaagad. Tapos nagtanong sa mga tao. And yung natutunan ko is gender is who you identify as. So yung nagkakaiba dyan is yung sexual orientation, which is like a common misconception. So your sexual orientation is who you're attracted attracted to. So, you could be a trans man, meaning a male to a female, but are sexually attracted to women. So, that means that a person identifies as a man. Yun yung parang, wow, gender and sexuality are so different. Um, alam naman natin yung mga gender stereotypes and mga gender rules, di ba? Na kahit nga male and female, I mean, di ba? Like, people expect you to act in a certain way. So, siguro, sa tingin nyo ba, girls and ates, do you think yung LGBTQ may specific gender rules din sila na ina-expect ng society na i-act in a certain way? Ang nangyayari yun dito, like in volleyball, if a guy plays volleyball, sasabihin nila, oh, he's gay. Di ba? Ang daming ganun. And I think it's also because they relate, it, relate the sport. Kasi ang dami naman talaga naglalaro ng gay, ng volleyball. But it's really, I think, dun sila more accepted. I can agree with Rosie on this. I think there's a lot of stereotypes. It is, in relation to women, I feel like we stereotype that women can't perform as well as guys in some sports like basketball. But then we can see women excelling in sports like weightlifting, wrestling. Tapos, there are also guys who excel in figure skating or cheerleading. The concept of stereotyping, I think it really exists depending on the sport then and the gender. Pero mas madami nga ngayon eh, no? Mas marami ako nakikita na go beyond the stereotype. I mean, we wanna get your insight, um, Ate Kim and Ate Mena, sa mga experiences nyo in terms of discrimination. Um, okay, humayin ko as, as athletes, 
people look at us, it's welcoming naman, the society today, because we think, um, you mentioned nga, Kobe, na modern times na, mas welcoming na yung mga tao, welcoming na, although, may na-experience pa rin ako na mga, hindi mo siya discrimination eh, more of may mga sumisita lang, and I think these are the, hindi natin ka-generation, parang mas matanda sa atin, so, they're more on the traditional side na dapat, dapat yung ito lang, ganito, ganyan. So, I came, I hope. So, wala, eh, same lang din naman. Wala, wala naman din nga, sumisit ka, kahit, kumari, um, siguro sa experience ko playing, wala, wala, wala naman din. So, yun, yun, yun nga, modern na nga, so welcoming na lahat. Siguro na experience lang namin sa, kanyari, sa 100 na tao, may mga dalawa, tatlo, five, na may mga sasabihin, babatuhan kami ng mga, o oh, dapat sa uh, lalaki ka na lang, ganyan, ganyan. Yung mga ganun lang naman. Pero ayun, 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 Ako naman, Mitch, kasi sa for women's volleyball, isang way na din yun para sa akin na ma-introduce din sa LGBT community kasi ang dami kong nakakalaro na. Yun, members sila ng LGBT community. With my gay friends, so, nangaaway sa kanila. Pero ano, matari sila pagdating sa ano, di ba? Volleyball. <laughs> Which is good. Like, I'm very happy. Personally, wala naman. I mean, sinabihan lang ako before, huwag kang sumali ng basketball kasi baka maging tomboy ka. Ganun lang. Tapos parang, wow, di naman lahat ng naglalaro ng women's basketball, magiging tomboy ka agad. Like, di ba dati nga yung stereotype sa women's volleyball, parang tibok ka kapag sumali ka ng women's volleyball? Oo, oh, parang ganun. Ako, nung nag-basketball ako, medyo naging boyish ako. Pero hindi naman to the point na grabe naman yung agad-agad. Pag basketball, tomboy ka agad. Hindi naman. Siguro kasi yung basketball, more on physical kasi siya. Yeah, na kung baga makipagbanggaan ka, mga kalaro ko, mga lalaki. So, syempre, alangan namang lalambot-lambot ka. So, kailangan mo talaga maging ano. So, I guess, ano, going back to our topic, <laughs> na-mention nyo din po kasi kanina, mga ates, yung how volleyball is sort of like the most friendly in terms of the LGBTQI community. Is volleyball the most welcoming sport? For me, since ang um, nalaro ko pa lang naman na sport ay volleyball, and then nung, ba, nung bata ko, <laughs> Jack Stone, charap. Ano, figure skating, yun, yun, yun yung two sports na na-experience ko na. Seeing the culture, we are somehow aware of their culture. And I would say na tama nga si Kobe. Siguro hindi ko kasi masabi na most eh, since hindi ko nga na-experience lahat. But isa tayo sa more welcoming sport community, yung yung volleyball. Kasi last month, Pride Month, nakita natin na ang daming mga Pride advocate ng mga athletes. Um, seeing the comments, they, they receive mga positive, mga positive feedback. Parang they complimented for coming out. Do you think na since we're living in the age of social media and everyone's on social media, do you think na it helped the community, this community, the LGBTQI, being out there? What do you, what do you think about that, Pong? Definitely think that now that more people are, be, are able to express themselves because of social media, um, a lot of people now are, they feel more free. Because times are changing, like, well, Pride is still an act of protest. But now, a lot of people come and join to celebrate lahat ng mga tao sa masali na sa Pride March. It's still a protest, yeah, but now a lot of people come and celebrate talaga. And you can see that a lot of people have come out. You can see it through the media, through yung mga postings nila. And there are a lot of influencers that are out na. I think it's easier for people nowadays if we compare it to people like our parents, yung mga generation ng mga lola at lola natin. Times there were so conservative, unlike now, ang dami ng natututunan. Also powerful. Parang gives them hope na, oh, I'm not alone in this fight. Ganon. Karelate lang kasi ako. Kasi, parang di ba, ang question is if nag-help yung social media sa like sa community. Oh. For me, yes. Kasi, ngayon, kahit mga bata pa na nag social media, once they see na yung social media, mga netizens, mas welcoming na sa, sa LGBTQ plus community, mas na-open din yung mind nila. Unlike sa times before na, okay, walang social media. 
ang um, kasama natin sa bahay are the the boomers, yung mga traditional na oh, bawal din to, bawal ganyan, and then they, they bat. So, the child growing up, ganun din siya, madidevelop, di ba? Unlike now na, okay, sabihin natin ni ganun kang kasama sa bahay, so you're open to that idea na, oh, ganito yung LGBTQ plus community. Pero once you open social media, you get open to other ideas as well. So, at least in your mind, personally, na nakuwi mo kung, kung saan ka doon, mas comfortable sa mga ideas yun. So, I think social media is really a big help to advocate for the community. Isa ako siguro sa mga sinasabi mo na naging open-minded din. <laughs> Isang open-minded, parang um, kumbaga mas nadagdagan yung knowledge ko sa ganyan kasi itong um, past few months, nanonood kasi ako ng BL series na Boy Love. Tapos so, parang, alam mo yun, hindi ako na, ano, mas kinikinig ako ganon. <laughs> Yun, Maganda, yun together, yun together, boy, yun together boy, series. Boy, boy. Dun ko na-realize na wala talagang pagkakaiba yung pagmamahala ng lalaki sa babae sa lalaki sa lalaki. Parang same lang lahat, same lang lahat. And sa girl to girl, syempre. So, what do you guys think about love naman and LGBTQI? Alam ko si Rosie may sasabihin dito eh. Love has no boundaries, yun na lang. <laughs> Period. At, at saka ano, it's, I guess, love and like, Love can be felt by all living things. Na be, it shouldn't be shamed. Na if a girl likes a girl, it's love. It's what we like. You, you have no right to tell them to stop. When ikaw nga kaya mo magjowa, it's why? Why would you stop people from loving? Pero ako kasi na grade school, high school lang sa all girls school. So yung at yung sila sabi ni Aya and Rosina. Girl to girl, hindi talaga yun bago sa akin. Which may she share din ako. It was actually something that happened in my childhood. Kasi um, I went to an all girls school also from grade school, and I was actually bullied for being a tomboy. Yun yung para na realize ko na it shouldn't be wrong if a girl likes another girl. I'm not saying na kasi malambing ako ng tao. So I grew up with two older sisters. Malapit ako sa mga friends ko, so paghinahog ko sila ganyan ganyan. Tapos there came a point na yung bar kada ko mismo. Sino nagsabi na, oh, like, don't be friends with her. English pa kasi English area yung school ko. Like, don't be friends with her kasi she's gay. Like, she, she actually likes you. Mga ganun. Parang ako, ano ba yan? Like, and what if I did like them? Like, is that a problem? Meron talaga ako yung definition of love ko yung ngayon. Kasi syempre, kumbaga, after ko nga mapanood yung Together the Series na yun talaga, te. <laughs> Sobrang sinubaybayan ko sila ang dalawa. And Papanoorin ko na yan. <laughs> so, sabi nung, ap- nung actor doon na sabi niya na love has no definition, it has many forms, and love has no genders. Yung isa, sabi ni Win na I think love is love. Love isn't about gender. Love is about love. Even if, even in the series, you can tell that yun nga, nagkwento na siya doon sa story. You know, which is hindi ko na isa spoil ate. Panoorin nyo kasi da. Meron ngayon sa I want. Sorry, <laughs> mate. Mela, growing up ba, parang na-expose ba kayo ganun sa ganun personally? Or parang ganyan na, ganyan to na talaga ikaw eh. Parang ever since, parang yung nalaman, ganun. <laughs> Paano ko nalaman? Different kami ng story. Hindi <laughs> kasi ako, yung family ko kasi, ano talaga siya, into sports. So, um, sa family ko, tanggap agad sila. Tanggap, tanggap agad. So, parang normal din sa grade school kasi ako nung start maglaro. Doon ko rin muna na-feel. Pero na akong care ka pa dyan. Pero girl, I think it's not care. No, no, no. Ay, ako na yun. Nagpaparibans ba to? Sa atin lang na ako ko binagat. Ayun na niya. Kapag ano, yung episode long hair, sige. So, yung, yung story ko kasi ano lang eh, basic lang eh. So, yung family ko nga, open sila sa ganyan. Kahit na ano. Yeah. Eh, dito kasi medyo... <laughs> Ang hindi, sobrang different. Actually, dito ko lang din na-realize na sobrang daming external factors. Growing up, ko and ako, tapos sa school namin, halos wala. Wala akong na-experience na ganun. So, hindi ako open sa ganun. Na-open lang ako sa mga gays and sa mga lesbians no naglalaro na ako sa mga barabaranggay. Kasi sila talaga yung mga, ewan ko kung ba't ganun, pero commonly, sila yung grabe yung love sa volleyball. So, doon ka na sila nakasama mga high school, ganyan. Pero hindi pa ako open sa mga same-sex relationship. Pero, nung pagkadating ko ng college, na-realize, ayun, nasis, ang dami na talaga. Naalala ko, tinatanong ko pa yung teammate ko, kabatch ko to. Sabi ko, may, may jowa siya na, ano, na lesbian din, sabi niya. At tinatanong ko sila na, oh eh, ano ang mangyayari sa inyo kung tapos na kayo ng college? Um, paano yung future niyo? Ganun ako ng ganun. Yan yung thinking ko. Kasi, doon ako lumaki sa ganung household din na, 
um, as I go along college years ko, ayun na, the more I got more open to it, doon ko na rin na-realize na ganun din pala ako. Kasi doon doon wow. ating sikat. Shout out! Ate, na subaybayan ba namin yan ni Ate Ponggay? Ewan ko sa inyo kasi mga babies sa akin. Ate, babies sa Pero Ate Ponggay, parang nababalitaan ko na yung kay Ate Mela. Uh, ang conclusion dyan, high school palang chismosa na kayo. <laughs> Ay Ate, nakikita kaya namin si Ate Kim doon. Ba't naman dalo lang ako? Yeah. Oh, so, uh, 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 Tactic niya yung kasi dadalin niya kayo sa lasal. <laughs> Ganun sa kasi. Kaya padalaw-dalaw ito sa US. I became aware at, at a young age because of my family. Cousins, my titas, they they had relationship with, with lesbians. It's a great feeling to know na you were surrounded by people that were open. Yung ganun. And people were who accepted different genders at saka yung... It's also great kasi when I went to Grant, it's very open also. And pagdating sa UP, lalo na sa UP, para I didn't have to worry about yung mga ganun discrimination towards my friends. And I actually even have a friend na in my gay best friend. Sabi niya, tinanong ko, kailan mo nalaman? Sabi niya, girl, ever since na, siguro, ever, ever since I opened my eyes, I knew I was a girl. Wow! <laughs> 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 That's Ang cute, no? Ang cute ng kwento. Kasi ito talaga ha, gusto ko malaman yung thoughts niyo, girls, and Ate Kim and Ate Mela, about volleyball, syempre, as a welcoming sport. And ako kasi, personally, LGB. LGB lang yung nakikita ko sa ating volleyball scene or ating sports scene in general. So, nasa na yung tea, diba? At Kim, do you think na volleyball should open to accepting trans players? Ayan. Very sensitive topic. Thank you for that beautiful so, question. Hindi pa natin na-experience yan dito. So, personally, ang hirap din mag-decide they should or they shouldn't, diba? Pero kami, kung ano yung ma-implement na rules for as long as regula- may regulations, parang gano'n. Kasi, oh, so, oh, so, tama, oh, diba? Oo, oh, okay lang naman. Siyempre, so, susunod na mo kami oh. kung, kung may rules, diba? Alam ko kung, kung ano kami. Pero, yun nga, feel ko, dapat may kalakip din siya ng mga regulations. Kasi it's different. Tama so, ba? diba, pag sinabi mo kung nga, i-allow mo yung trends, trends oh. magdaro, baka mamaya, mamaya, yung volleyball, anong sila ng lahat. Diba? So, Iba rin kasi si Kim, she played against this hemaphrodite naman sa Indonesia. Indonesia. I think you all know, you all know her. Uh, mga nang. So, makikita natin yung difference sa kanyang um, kakayanan compared sa mga yung, yung girls talaga. Pero, um, she's allowed, di ba? Ang um, parang differences nito, siya, hemaphrodite. And seldom lang naman eh, hindi naman, hindi naman kayo pwedeng bumuo ng team na puro oh, hemaphrodite kayo kasi parang ano lang naman yun eh, one in a, once in a blue moon lang naman yung ganong case, eh. so konti lang parang ganyan. So situation, nare-regulate nila. I think all we need is regulations, but if they allow it, there's nothing wrong with it. Oh, may fair naman yun, basta may regulation. If you're gonna base it on hormones then, mahilap din kasi there's some women talaga, mataas yung te- te- uh, testosterone and then still play. And also, they should really base it on the skill level of the player, of the trans woman, di ba? Ayun, there should be regu- regulations, there should be tests. I agree with the both of you. I super liked what uh, Ate Mella said. Like, we think that trans women should compete in sports simply because they are women. So for me, I'm supporting all women, mm-hmm. and I feel that like trans women are women. Oh, the Miss Universe! Mm. <laughs> 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 Miss Universe next year. I think because the issue that I think people think is because males are biologically, but I think the issue here isn't that. The issue is the issue of gender. Mm-hmm. Like, lang, is that no amount of testosterone or estrogen defines a person's athletic abilities, right? So 
for a girl na mataas yung level of estrogen mo, it doesn't necessarily mean na magaling ka na na player, di ba? So, welcome them to the sport. Mm-hmm. And laban natin sila, tataas yung level ng game. Yeah. Kasi may nagbasa kong article about this trans woman cyclist. Tapos, parang Olympic cyclist siya. And sabi niya naman, Depende din sa sport eh. Kunyari, yun nga, if you're, kunyari, oh, what's this, synchronized swimmer, and then you're a trans woman, and then you're big, syempre, that's a disadvantage for you. So I guess, hindi naman siya necessarily, oy, advantage, kasi malaki ka, ganyan. Depende siguro sa sport. I guess, we can say na we tackled a lot na discrimination and being out there, just being yourself. Alam naman natin na maraming issue regarding that. So, I guess every problem comes with a certain solution. So, Ate Mela what, and Ate Kim, what do you think? Yeah, let's just say solutions. Kanina, we talked about social media. Sobrang, feel ko solution na din yun in a way. I mean, nagiging helpful siya in finding a solution, di ba? Oh, you want instruments. Since it's a very broad topic nga, uh, maladaan natin siya po sa mga short-term solutions nga na sinasabi mo. Like, right now, there are a lot of advocacies for the pride community. So, that helps a lot because it opens a lot of eyes. But one of the things that so much is respect, yun lang. Kasi, acceptance, it's gonna be a while till everyone gets to accept our community, who we really are. What we're really screaming for right now is just respect. Being accepted, that thing Thailand, but for now, all we really try for is respect. Galing, galing talaga answer. Grabe okay. ate mala. Hey, ate Kim, what do you think? Kini labuta na ako dun, by the way. Sa akin na lang sa akin, kasi kasi yun nga, marami yung kanila na lalaro na ganyan. Like kung mara yun nga, um, isa yung sinabi mo kanina na si Mak, yung nakalablamin from Indonesia. Pero ang nasipil ko siya kasi siyempre nakikita ko yung ibang tao kapag kalaban nila kami. Ay, yung may lalaki, yung, oh, yung nagad yung sasabihin nila. Ito. So parang, parang sa akin, parang hindi ba siya pwedeng maglaro ng, ng oh, oh, normal lang. Oo, oh, 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 yun, parang kasi parang sabihin na, na yun yun, parang ano. Although yung Aphrodite siya, pero siya kasi great to discriminate. Oo, oh, oh. tsaka yun, anong magagawa natin kung yun yung so, way niya para i-express yung sarili niya. Peace. Oh. Yo, respect and peace. Respect to pass. Hindi naman, hindi naman wala namang bayad bibigay yun. So yun lang, pero just be decent people. Pabot. Grabe yun na. Grabe yun talaga. <laughs> Ganda nung ano answer nila eh. Education. We should educate yes. the young, the youth about these things, about trans women, about gender, sexuality. Kasi ito yung mga di tinuro sa school. I mean, siguro sa college na if you take a class or you attend a seminar. Pero it should be part of, for me, it should be part of the curriculum. Maybe in science or health. Dapat turuan to sa mga bata para when they grow up, hindi sila magiging close-minded sa ganito. Or parang pag lumaki sila, let's say hindi sila na grow up in a household that's open. Pero at least sa school, maging open sa ganito. Who are part of the LGBTQ community will get that respect that you guys are um, that they need. Para alam nila na okay. Kasi maraming mga tao na ignorante lang kasi hindi nga nila alam. So I think a, a good solution for this misconceptions mm-hmm. lagi to educate them. So girls, I want to know what did you learn from our beloved guests for today? Ang natutunan ko sa kanila today is siguro my definition of love is that love is freedom. Kasi from all the things that you guys were telling me, yun yung naisip ko. Na pag magmamahal ka ng tao, dapat ang mararamdaman mo is parang freeing. It shouldn't be like, um, shucks, hindi ko pwedeng mahalin yung mahal ko ganyan dahil sa magulang ko. Like, ma, <laughs> you would na-share mo yung story. Saka yung, you're still defying all the odds. Na parang, okay lang na we're two girls. It doesn't matter because we love each other. And I think that's what I learned. It's really yeah. brave na you want for your love and relationship atin. So, it's na ka, ano, inspired. And for sure, for the people who are watching, talaga, they will be inspired by your relationship. Love doesn't discriminate. Tutunan ko for this episode, kung ano talaga yung pinupunta ni Ate Kim sa USC dati. <laughs> <laughs> the LGBT community gusto nila na acceptance hindi din yung not tolerant parang kung bagaganan and kasi 
for me kasi, never siya nag-matter sa akin. Ang tao ay tao. And ngayon, mas gusto ko pang matutunan tong, kumbaga yung mga, mga um, tungkol sa LGBT community. Kasi para mas maintindihan ko and para mas maintindihan ko din yung mga tao na sa paligid ko. As of now, manonood muna ako ng uh, mga BLC. <laughs> Ayun na naman siya. <laughs> so, distancing po tayo ngayon, mga ate. So, ikaw, Ate Mitch. Um, I learned na, yun nga, sports is for everyone. It's where you can showcase yourself and I feel like no one should be deprived of that. Um, you're a gay or a lesbian or part of the LGBTQI community and you're good at volleyball and you're good at basketball. No one should deprived of that, diba? You should have your own spotlight and print. And siguro, syempre, with our cup of talagang um, natutunan ko na same lang yan with love. If you love, if you like a girl and you're a girl, it, you shouldn't be deprived of that. If you love a boy and you love a boy, you shouldn't be deprived of that. And EBH, sports is like love, but it's universal. Ayan! Yes! yes. EBH! It's <laughs> like Okay, okay. <laughs> Hi to all our Kappa Media sports fans worldwide. Thank you for watching TBH. Can't get enough of our latest episodes? Subscribe now to ABS-CBN Sports YouTube channel and don't forget to ring the bell to be updated on our latest videos.